What is going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Today is our Carver Vanguard standard market watch meeting. On this video, we will only talk about cards in standard format to see which cards are money, which cards are mass, and which cards are plus. But before we begin, please remember to comment, like, and subscribe to the channel for more videos. Every Thursday, standard market watch, and every Friday, which is tomorrow, is our premium market watch. Now, yes, I know yesterday we had a market watch. A few of you guys actually messaged me on Messenger saying, Rico, our market watch video is going to be on, on uh, Wednesdays now. No. So no matter what, standard market watch will be on Thursdays and premium market watch will be on Fridays. But yesterday, I just felt like doing a market watch video. I wanted to see if, if I could start something new. I want to start doing market watch videos on prices for sets uh, before and uh, before high prices and currently at, at high prices uh so basically i've been saying this whole time on the mark watch videos saying that bt uh, 10 phantom dragon aeon uh the prices were gonna be bad a lot of people did not believe me a lot of people still bought multiple cases and now they're going super minus so hopefully those videos can help you guys in the future um so i will i will be doing a pre-hype video for B for bt11 for blue knight uh for the for the aqua force set with, for great natures that mark watch video hopefully should come out by next week by monday or tuesday not too sure exactly but the only way you guys can know is by clicking the bell button to get notifications when our videos are up and running but besides that today's mark watch we're going to talk about clan selection plus volume one and two cards are finally confirmed a lot of you guys actually do not know about the cards that we're getting in the set especially the reprints and the reprints are so spicy so mm, so spicy the reprints honestly guys i'm extremely happy and i applaud bush road for listening to the community because a lot of these spicy reprints are like cards that are like 15 to 20 dollars each which is great to see that, that the game were printed but my question is what are the ratios going to be? Uh, but besides that, I also have one more announcement. I'm sorry. Yeah, no, today we have a bunch of announcements. So I just got an email from TCGplayer.com. Kickbacks are back in the game. This Friday, November 6th, TCG Player will be turning up your sales volume by giving buyers money back on singles. Kickbacks are safe fuel, and we want you to make money on this buyer promo. Uh, prepare to get your cards into carts by listing up inventory and making sure your prices are fresh. So tomorrow we're finally getting a kickback from TCGPay.com. Honestly, guys, if you guys need to pick up any single cards, this is probably one of the best times to buy them, which is tomorrow. Uh, I don't know how much exactly they're going to get the, kick the kickbacks. They didn't really say how much. Yeah, they, they didn't say anything about how much 15% uh, or 20% or 10%. Not too sure. But keep in mind, guys, uh, kickbacks, they're good. They're great. Uh, me, personally, I probably wouldn't really take advantage of kickbacks uh, unless they're 10% and more. But again, if it's like if it's less than 10%, then of course, you know, buy the cards that you need. Um, if they're more than 10%, then tomorrow actually might be a great day to buy out singles and start investing into singles. But before you do that, please look into this set clan selection plus volume one and volume two because again a lot of spicy cards are actually getting reprinted into this set anyways guys enough about that let's go on the mark watch to see which cards are money which cards are minus and which cards are plus so if you guys don't know boost road is giving us two sets dedicated to almost all the clans a bunch of them are getting new cards and a bunch of them are getting reprinted cards and those reprint cards are just again just so spicy so the first one that we're going to talk about is clan selection plus uh, plus volume one this set is coming with some spicy cards uh let's go start with angel feathers uh aidroid zayan the grade two i believe this was a triple r uh this is a gamer printed uh beautiful megs angel don't don't know that card this one helpful attendant this this is a grade one on ride for angel feathers which comes in i believe infinity cradle and that triple r grade one is going for like six seven bucks but it's great to see that this card game reprinted. Uh, for Shadow Paladins, one of the two biggest reprints. The first one, Black Sage Sharon. If you guys don't know, Black Sage Sharons are going for like what? Almost like 20 bucks now. Uh, the other second biggest reprint is Skull Witch the Main, which is getting reprinted again. And hopefully this time Skull Witch the Main will be under the $10 range. Hopefully. Uh, next one, of course, a bunch of perfect cards are getting reprinted. 
Uh, Dark Shield Mac Lairs are getting reprinted again. Uh, Spectral Blue Dragon is making a comeback for Gold Paladins. <clears throat> uh, reprints for Gold Paladins, we have Advance of Black Chains uh, Kaden and Stronghold of Black Chains Hole. These two triple R grade ones and twos are getting reprinted, in my opinion. I think it's a waste. But the biggest reprint for Gold Paladins, of course, is Listener's Truth Dendrains. If you guys haven't noticed, Dendrains have been getting bought off market the rare version and the Congratulations pro uh, promo version. So hopefully this um, this reprint will lower will lower down the price. And of course, the Perfect Graph for Gold Paladins is getting reprinted. Now for Tachikaze's, uh, one of the biggest buyouts, in my opinion, is Ravenous Dragon Mega Rex. This card recently has been bought off market, which I'm, which I'm about to show you. Uh, Clear Out Dragon Sweeper, sweep, Sweeper Karanato. This card is also being reprinted. This card is going for like almost seven, like 15, 17 bucks. So again, these two cards, it is great to see that, that they're getting reprinted. And of course, the perfect, the perfect card for Tachikaze's. Uh, Shoryuki is getting reprinted. And da, 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 uh, Stealthine, Rainy, Madame. This is a great one rare, which is going for like two, three bucks. So it's eh, it, it's okay to see it get reprinted. Uh, basically, guys, they are printed the perfect cards for every clan in, in this set, which is broken. Of course, we're getting the blood finally. And of course, since we're getting the blood, we're getting a reprinted version of Dragonic Kaiser Vermilion. If you guys don't know, there's currently a buy on uh, Vermilions. They're going for like eight, nine, seven bucks right now at the moment. So it's great, it's great to see that, that it's getting reprinted. And of course, a Rising Phoenix is getting reprinted once again. But again, like b basically, Bushro is giving is reprinting a bunch of staple cards that are becoming more and more expensive every day. Even though Rising Phoenix has been reprinted once already, it's still like around like the five six six dollar range. Uh, Chaos Breaker is making a comeback. Everyone's looking very forward to that. Uh, Blast Monk of the Thundering Foot. Um, I don't think I need a reprint, but still, it's it, it's okay. Um, Dark Regulars, let's see. Emblem Master, great reprint. Even though Emblem Master did get a reprinted rare version, it's still way too expensive. So I'm glad to see Emblem Master getting reprinted. And of course, Killer Tail, this is a grade one rare, which is going for like four or five bucks. It is also great to see this card game getting reprinted. Uh, Kier Chronicles, let's see. Uh, Steam Scara, this grade two is finally getting reprinted. Thank God, it was becoming way too expensive. And Chrono Tooth Tiger, yes, it's also getting reprinted. Again, guys, this set is going to help you complete your decks if you guys are still missing cards or if you guys just just just, just don't have the capital to complete your decks. Like this, this set is amazing with reprints. And uh, for Grand Blue, we have uh, Ghosty Leader Beatrix. And we have Skull Dragon, which is now what, like eleven, ten dollars now. It's finally getting reprinted, and hopefully it, it stays below like, like the five dollar range. Hopefully, uh, Greedy Shade, another card which is great to see getting reprinted, and Ripple Banshee, another great reprint for Grand Blue, which is amazing. Uh, Mega Colony, we have uh, Venom Stinger, we have Machine Mantis, which is getting a third reprinted version. By the way, this card is still up in the market. Uh, Small Captain Butterfly Officer. It's a common, by the way, and this common is, is actually selling for three for three bucks each. And one of the biggest re reprints is Stealth Mel Stealth Millipede. I know I said it wrong. I do apologize. I have a lisp. This card only came as a promo, and that promo was extremely difficult to find. And they're going for like twenty to thirty dollars each. So I'm glad to see that Bushroot is, is even giving us promos. Yes, Boost Road is giving us reprints of promos, which is great. I'm so happy to see that because uh, recently promos for Carver Vanguard and Standard Format are just becoming way too expensive. Uh, Neo Nectar, we're getting uh, Maiden of Stan uh, Peony, uh, Autumn's Turning Maiden, Maiden Rosie, uh, Fruit Basket Elf, which I kind of don't agree with. I'm not too much of a fan of the Neo Nectar support that we're getting in the set. But now for Clan Selection Plus 2, Volume 2. Now this set has one of the biggest waifus making a comeback. Ashley is finally making her comeback in Carfa Vanguard, which is great to see. Uh, as for reprints, we're getting Little Sage Marin and I believe Disconnect Dragon. I'm pretty sure that's a reprint. I could be wrong. Um, for OTTs, we're finally getting Battle Sister for Maj. And for reprints, we're getting Battle Sister Panatone, which only came as a promo at a BC at, at, at a Boost Road event. So it's great to see that this promo is finally getting reprinted. Uh, for Genesis, Regalias are finally coming to the meta. Uh, hopefully, regal hopefully this great three regal Regalia does something. Hopefully, 
Uh, for reprints, we're getting Witch of the Fogs, uh, Witch of the Frogs, Melissa, and I believe White Brush Witch, White Brush Witch Arctic. I believe I could be wrong. Uh, for Cogros, Dauntless Drive Dragon. I'm so happy to see that he's making a comeback from from uh, Break Red format. Uh, for reprints, we're getting uh, uh, Airmos is once again getting reprinted, which is great to see. Uh, for Nimbus Thomas, we're getting uh, Zangetsu. We're getting Hanzo. We're getting. Uh, I do apologize. It's really difficult for me to say the names. Anyways, guys, um, if I, if I'm if I'm skipping over any cards, I do apologize. It's just there's just so many cards to go over. It's just insane. Uh, for Nimbus Grapplers. We're finally getting Ethics Buster. Finally, I know a lot of you got. I, I know a lot of you Nova Grappler guys are very excited to see this see this card making a comeback. Uh, with that, we're also getting a reprinted version of Ultra Beast DD Aluminum Dragon, which is great to see. Uh, Beast DD Scarlet Bird and Beast DD uh, Gian's Dragon. Uh, for Deep Please. Zeal is making a comeback in standard format, which is great to see. A lot of people missed the Zeal. A lot of people were, were hoping for it to be Die Kaiser instead. <laughs> I, I, I seen so many memes on Facebook recently of people just crying saying we're getting Zeal, but we're not getting Die Kaiser. But I do apologize for all you for all you deep please players out there, especially you, Dan. I do apologize. Uh, for reprints, we're getting Platinum Ace. We're getting a uh, Twin Order, which came as a promo which the promo is going for like i think like 30 25 bucks so it's great to see that boost is reprinting is, is reprinting promos uh, magical police quilt it's getting reprinted now for sprite brothers high speed bracky is getting reprinted by the way the rare is going for like a dollar two bucks each wonder boys are all getting reprinted i'm pretty sure they're going for like dollars each and for pale moon we're getting nightmare doll chelsea nightmare doll alice nightmare doll carol and we're getting I'm a rotten beast tamer. I, again, I'm bad of names. I can't. I'm, I have a lisp. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. Uh, Bermuda Triangles, we're going to skip because to be honest, I don't know any of them. Uh, actually, no. Uh, Rainy Tear, Esteza is getting reprinted, which is, eh, it's okay. Uh, Valios is coming to the meta. A lot of people are definitely excited to see Valios. Uh, Coral, Salt, again, Coral Salt are getting reprinted again, which is the third time. Yeah, the third time is getting reprinted. Uh, Blue Wave, Blue Wave Marine uh, General Goliath and Battle Siren Dolcia. Uh, for Great Natures, we're getting Hamskate. We're getting a new Hamskate, by the way. Uh, for other cards that get that are getting reprinted, is basically the Grade Two, Grade sorry, the Grade Three, Grade Two, and Grade One Ride Chain for Great Natures. Uh, honestly, they probably should have reprinted Monoculus Tiger. I think that card would have been better for a reprint, in my opinion. But yeah, guys, so these cards are coming out next year. Um, I forgot which month exactly, so I do apologize in advance. But yes, we are getting these two sets, and these two sets are coming with new cards and reprinted cards for each clan. Um, so expect these two sets to definitely break the market. Like when once these two sets finally drop, a lot of card prices will start dropping. Well, hopefully they start dropping. Uh, now to get not to get not to get onto the regular market watch. Uh, first card that I want to talk about is Draghard Lord. The VRs are now down to 16 bucks and change. Market price is $17.08, but there's currently 40 listings on the market. Uh, guys, if you guys have Draghard, Draghard Lords and you're trying to get rid of them, get rid of them now for 16 or 15 bucks each. I do see a very strong potential of this VR becoming maybe 12 to $10 each. I, can, I see it happening, guys. Just get rid of them now while you still can. And surprisingly enough, Ghidorah is that. Well, First of all, uh, this double art grade two for Shadow Pathings is nine dollars. Drag Wizard Live Fall, nine dollars. And before you say, oh, who's gonna buy for nine bucks? There's only 18 listings, guys, and this set just dropped, so people are definitely buying them up. Now let's look at for now let's look for Ghidorah. Yeah, so Ghidorah is actually doing very well. It's actually selling for seven to eight dollars each with 19 listings. The market price is seven seven dollars and sixteen cents. Uh, Ghidorahs, they're selling very well. This is probably one of the best times to get rid of them for seven bucks. Does it have a, a potential on going going down in the market? Yes, it does. Because technically, we're still in the high price. A lot of prices are still are accumulate, accumulating to their actual price. Uh, Drag Driver Lords, seven dollars, but it's gonna go down. Market price is seven fifteen, and there's forty five listings. It's gonna go down. It's not gonna hold. Uh, Phantom Blaster, Phantom Blaster Overlord, thirty seven listings, six bucks and change. Uh, Morpheus, four dollars with forty-four listings. Uh, pretty sad. I'm pretty sure Morpheus is gonna go down to at least three dollars, maybe even two dollars. And I think that's pretty much it that I want to talk about in this set. 
uh wait no i'm gonna talk about the um, the order card where is it 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 where is, it? Where is the other card honestly i i all right so this order card in my opinion it's already it's already a 50 cent card uh this card will become a dollar i'm telling you guys if you guys have this rare do not sell them for less than a dollar definitely do not sell them for less than a dollar more penny stocks which doctor of powdered bone negro bone this grade one rare honestly has been bought off the market multiple times and i know a few people who actually bought them you guys are monsters monsters by the way just pure monsters uh market price is a dollar 43 and there's currently only 14 listings on the market a bunch of them for uh two bucks basically one listing for a less, less than two bucks uh this card in my opinion it's already two dollar card does it have a potential on becoming three dollars yes it does in my opinion I, I still think grand blue is still like yes i know grand blue is going to be pushed down in the meta because we're, we're about to get new batamas and new batamas are just insane but i still feel like grand blue is still a phenomenal deck and this grade one is a necessity for any grand blue deck in my opinion more penny socks clear flame whirling wash of curse cleansing this grade three order card in my opinion is already it's already a dollar card and it, it does have potential on becoming two dollars each uh, market price is 75 cents and there's currently only 19 listings uh, again guys in my opinion a lot of order cards before you sell them for bulk look at their price because these order cards actually might have value some of them might be a dollar some of them might, might actually be two dollars it's just again my opinion do not sell your order cards for less than a dollar the next stage now a friend of mine told me rico gear chronicles are slowly being bought from market i was like okay let's check so next stage it is slightly above the market price market price is $14.37 and there's currently only 28 listings uh one for $16.52 after that $17 and change so it's i mean yeah it's a little bit suspicious but it's not that not that big of a deal uh the grade one grade three searcher for gear chronicles there is 28 listings um all of them for 10 bucks and change market price is 9.95 again slightly above the market price but again it's not that big of a deal Let's look at the other cards. Um, again, Starlight Violinist. I'm still surprised that this card is still holding at the $4 range, which is great to see, by the way. But I'm, again, like I said before, order cards. Do not sell them without checking their price. The first order card that we received, Ignatius, Ignatius Tactics Book of Strong Arming, is now a 2 to $3 card. Market price is $152 and is currently only 13 listings on the market. Again, guys, this is probably one of the biggest examples on why not to sell your order cards as bulk. They actually might go up in value. Now, we just received more Mega Calling support, so we're not surprised that Machine Mantis is being bought off the market. Uh, there were printed rare version from Festival Collection. There's only one listing for four bucks and change. After that, eight forty. After that, nine dollars each. Market price is eight ten with only five listings. As for the original Triple R's, there's only nine listings. Uh, one for 12 bucks after that 13 dollars each market price is 627. now we just saw that, that this card is is getting reprinted soon but the question is will this card start going down in value at the moment i highly doubt it because again there's only five listings for the reprinted version and nine listings for the triple r more penny stocks this grade one rare for narukamis in my opinion has a strong potential on becoming a three dollar card this card is just that good especially with descendant Market price is a dollar and twelve cents, and there's currently only sixteen listings on the market. Uh, one for a dollar and change. After that, two bucks each, and then eventually three dollars each. Again, guys, this rare grade one for Narcomis. If you have it, I probably would not sell them for less than two bucks, and potentially maybe they actually might become a three dollar card very soon. Oracle Guardian Gemini. This grade one rare for OCTs is now a three dollar card. Market price is two thirty five, and there's currently only ten listings on the market. This card is still selling and people are still buying them. Yes, I know we just received OTT support, but we're about to get more OTT support. And this card is not being reprinted. So I do see a very strong potential on this rare grade one becoming a $5 card, just for the fact that it's a pretty good card that can counter charge for OTT. Now we're gonna look at one of the oldest, worst sets for standard format, the Destructive Roar. But a lot of cards from this set have been going up in the market. Juggernaut Maximum, is now a four dollar card market price is 370 and there's currently only eight listings on the market so juggernaut maximums are definitely going up in the market and like i said guys small captain butterfly officer this common grade one for <laughs> for meta colonies only three listings all of them for four dollars and change basically five dollars in my opinion 
if you guys have bulk from the destructive roar look for this grade one they are selling for four dollars and more and we just saw Ghidorah. Ghidorahs are selling. We just saw Machining Mantis. Those are selling. So do not be surprised that this Grade 1 Common is selling for $4 each. That's why this card is getting reprinted, by the way. Uh, surprisingly, Archbird, the PG for Tachikazes, 8 listings. They're going for 5 bucks each. Basically, market price is $3.41. Uh, Sonic Nova, Sonic Nova, uh, Sonic Noahs are going for 3 bucks. Let's see what else we can find. I'm pretty sure there's a bunch of commons and rares. Uh, uh, uh Assault Dragon Black Tops is now $2. Vicious Claw Dragon Latarex is now a $2 to $3 card. Market price is $0.81, cents, but there's only six listings on the market. But this card was reprinted recently, so uh, it shouldn't be that, that difficult to find. High speed Brockies are now $2 each. Market price is $0.80 cents and there's currently only 9 listings on the market. So that so it's great to see that this card is getting reprinted. Wonder Boys are basically $1 each. Market price is $0.80 cents and there's currently only 18 listings on the market. Uh, Phantom Black, this grade 1, grade one rare for Mad Colonies is also becoming a, a dollar card. And I'm pretty sure that's it. There's one more card that I want to talk about. This card. Now... Again, Ghidorah is being bought off the market. A lot of support for Ghidorah is being bought off the market. This grade three is also being bought off the market for a common. Market price is 43 cents and there's currently only 14 listings on the market. This grade three works very well with, with Ghidorah and it does have a strong potential on becoming a dollar card in my opinion. So if you guys have this common grade three in your bulk piles, look for them. You can probably sell them for dollars each if, if, people are, if Ghidorah is still in demand. And one of the biggest buyouts from the Destructive Roar, which is getting reprinted, Ravenous Dragon Mega Rex. The triple R's are going for 11 to 12 to 13 dollars each with only four listings. Market price is 6.82. As the reprinted version, there's one for three bucks and change. After that, nine dollars and change. Market price is 3.96 with only four listings. So, again. Another phenomenal card, which I'm happy to see that's getting reprinted, and it's it's just way too expensive in my opinion. Again, guys, I am extremely happy that we're getting these two sets. Thank you, Bush Road. I applaud you, honestly, guys. If you guys can, you know, tell Bush Road that they're doing a good job for giving us all these re all these reprints. But with that in mind, a lot of people are a little bit worried. A lot of people are like, why is Bush Road giving us all all these amazing reprints? Uh, maybe Boost Show is finally, finally, finally noticing that, you know, that cards are becoming way too expensive. And some people are assuming, again, they're assuming that Boost Road, that Boost Road will rotate the format, which in my opinion would be a bad idea. So Boost Road, don't do that. Hopefully you don't do that. Um, the reason why I think Boost Road shouldn't rotate the format is because... Uh, Digimon is coming out next year as well. Digimon is coming out, I believe, like the same month as Overdress. Or no, I think Digimon is coming out January or February. Not too sure. Thing is, Carpet Vanguard is going to have a new competitor. And that competitor is Digimon. And Digimon has a very strong following. So, if, in my opinion, I could be wrong. If Bushiro does rotate the format, I see a lot of Vanguard players quitting Carpet Vanguard to play Digimon. Because that's just going to be like such a waste of time though such a waste of all of us investing into these sets but, but i don't know again I, I could be wrong i could i could sound like an idiot but i don't know it, it's way too soon to to predict anything me personally i'm just gonna keep buying cards and keep selling cards i could care less if there is a, a rotation i could care less if there's not a rotation either way um i'm going to be on my toes looking into the market every day and that's what you should do too if you're worried just look at the market every day. But yeah, guys, uh, that's today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys did indeed enjoy the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you guys are new to the channel, please subscribe to the channel for more videos. Every Thursday, standard mark watch on your Friday, which is hopefully tomorrow, is our premium mark watch. Now, today's mark watch was very spicy. Again, all these news, reprints, and they're really good reprints, by the way. Um, order cards, penny stocks, uh, Machine Mantis. Desert Gunner, I'm telling you guys, this card has a strong potential on becoming a $3 card. And get ready for tomorrow. Ooh, this is going to be so spicy. Again, I don't know how... I, I don't know what the percentage is going to be for kickbacks for tomorrow. Again, if it's less than 
you know just buy buy cards they need to they need to complete your decks with but if it's more than 10 percent highly recommend to if you have the capital if you have the money highly recommend to buy out cards and invest in my opinion could be wrong no you don't have to do it i'm just saying if you have the capital if you have good income and if you're good with money then yes but go buy out some cards and go go invest um so yeah i hope you guys are doing well i hope you guys are being safe and hope to see you guys always next time deuces